Okay, now the easiest way to terminate these is to use a 110 punch down tool. We do have these again in our land kit or you can buy this on our site. Now the 110 tool has a special blade that has a cut end on it. If you feel that little nib there, you'll see that's quite sharp. You're going to put the cut end towards the front of the connector. You don't want to put it back towards the cable or obviously you'll cut it off. You're going to insert it down in the slot and punch down hard, okay? This is why you need a firm surface to work with. Do this for each one of the, each one of the contacts and the excess end of the cable will just pop right off. Okay, you can see there the, are the excess ends that I cut off. All right, now simply line up the stuffer cap and snap it in place. Now that's all there is to terminating the Cat 5E jack. Now to put it into a face plate, or in the case today, we're going to put it into a surface mount box. When you open these boxes up, you're going to notice that it's got a double-sided sticky tape to it, and it's got a little insert in there that can actually fit into the top part here to indicate whether this is a phone or a data jack. Pop the box apart. It's usually easiest to pry it apart with a uh, screwdriver from the back. Okay, there it's popping open. Now the way this jack goes into here is on the bottom side of the jack is a little pressure release. Okay, so you want this little tab, this flex tab, to be facing down in the jack. Slide it from the back side and slide it forward till you hear it click in place. Take your top part, and there you have your surface mount jack ready to adhere to the wall, screw to the wall, plug and play.